Bad Shout content. Out to Sid. You can uh, check the p the ranking is on there. You can check every local that's in SoCal uh -huh. throughout the week, and as well as the results throughout the week. So, okay. really great re resource if you're a competitor to see what's going around and around you here in SoCal. I believe he started to integrate the streams into there as well. Oh snap, dude! So next level it'll even have like the stream links or even just like the stream showing for whatever tournament you're interested in all right but let's see uh not only is he a, a talented web developer but he's a talented player so let's see what he, how he does against this young link right here starting off on battlefield uh i like this stage a little bit more for young link simply because of the extensions he can get about on the platform and he's such a mobile and nimble character he can just maneuver so easily and then the utilization of the boomerang can just keep your opponent trapped like forever well don't forget yoshi does have his brand yeah. new up air which will allow him to ladder uh, young link on these platforms true 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 i don't know if uh oh oh, oh. here we go is, up till is, up is this air? the time he's looking for it Misses the dash attack right there. Bit of an even percentage. Uh oh, jump. Still got it. Yeah, using, yeah. utilizing a second jump. Just really waiting out whatever option Floppy was going to throw. All right, neutral air. We're going to see a ton of that uh, from Yoshi and Maiko. Oh, it just comes out so fast. There's yeah. no reason not to abuse it. Neutral air out of shield. Really great punish. Bad landing from Floppy on that platform. He's just going to up smash. Uh, really good tool to cover that entire platform. You saw it has a ton of range. Mm -hmm. He's dropping down with the uh, with down air flop is trying to get back on the ground and put a little bit more damage on Michael put him in a kill uh, a kill situation all right great back air right there forward smash from across the stage though not gonna be enough to take that KO oh, oh that was it yeah unfortunately uh, Yoshi does have a bit of like uh, it's not super armor I think it's heavy armor damage based yeah um, so he was able to use his second jump to kind of escape that uh, second hit of forward smash. 169 on Maiko. He's in danger of losing, but he's like just oh. applying so much pressure. Oh, oh. 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 does get just get around that telegraph. Yeah, Michael no. moving. Yeah, Michael definitely definitely one of the more defensive Yoshi's that we have. As you can see, he's really forcing Floppy to approach, and even with uh, whenever a move is whiffed onto Michael's shield, you just see him nair out of shield. You know, go for the easy, easy punish, and just continue to extend his lead. Yeah, really great mix-ups. Another up smash right there. Michael sitting at 180 percent yet to lose a life, but neutral air. At, at that percent, it kills everybody. Yeah, I don't know what's in that boot, but <laughs> Young Link got something hidden in those boots. You got weights. <laughs> you see how little end lag the spin attack had. He was able to use the spin attack and combo it into back airs, getting actually two back airs out of that. Okay, well, there's the cross up nair. It's not able to really convert off these nairs. It's sort of unfortunate, but the boomerang coming in hand. Floppy uh, getting, really knocking uh, Michael out of his combo. All right, neutral air out of shield again. Down smash right here. Floppy actually not too far behind with Michael at 130. If he can just find this stock without taking too much more damage, we're sitting at an even game. You can see these nairs are poking through the, the attacks of Michael's back air. Uh -oh. Another us match. It does go through that platform. Michael's really been utilizing oh, it. There it is, man. He just went for it all off stage, getting that two stock with the forward air dunk. Man, Michael looking really strong. That's right. Putting one up for Yoshi. You know, we get that that cute Yoshi theme. Yeah. Yoshi's such a cute character, but man, he's the devil, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> man, I hate fighting him. <laughs> He's, he's obnoxious. <laughs> he can be difficult, especially <laughs> with a uh, Nair coming out so fast yeah, and having so access to it out oh of the field. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, we saw Michael abuse it. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to see it again. Oh, yeah, totally. He's going to see more Nair. Hey. Give him the Tims. And at this point, we may actually start to see him convert off of it because at, like, a low mid percent, it's yeah. going to send him into, like, a tumble where if he doesn't get a tech, he's going to be able to get, like, jab locks and, and just extend damage off of that and possibly even get KOs. Another thing we haven't seen too much of from Maiko is we haven't even seen any grabs or command grabs with the neutral special. It's true. I think I've only really seen him grab once. I, but... I, yeah, I think yeah. literally one time. I think it's, it's just like he's recognizing that he doesn't really need to do it. It's He's found success so far. So and it's, I know it's, it's a bit of a trump card now. He doesn't like uh, Yoshi's grab. Really? Either. 
Yeah, it says it's like you <gasps> little bit too slow. Oh, yo, with the turnaround up tilt, positioned himself perfectly to get those juggles with the up air. That was so sick for Maiko. Yeah, and turnaround up tilt actually allowed it be to the the hitbox to connect onto Floppy Optimal. at the end of it. <gasps> yo, <gasps> Maiko. Okay, there's a bang grab. <laughs> Yeah, you can see Floppy starting to get a little bit anxious. Okay, big up smash. Good anti-air coming from from Floppy. Oh, I don't know what that Zer was, but putting, yeah. putting trip in a, in a trip to animation, Floppy needs to find some type of answer. He was probably just trying to neutral air. I, I, when I play Young Link, and granted, I'm not like a Young Link master, but yeah. I, I get Zers a lot when I'm trying to neutral air. It sucks. But I'm just bad, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, 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 Floppy's definitely a lot better than me. <laughs> with this character <laughs> oh spacing out I'm trying to i like the just the movement that we see coming out from michael is weaving in and in and out uh, and it's making it very difficult for for floppy to tell where his opponent's going to be to attack all right he gets a grab right there the space neutral air uh converting into that okay brought it back to an even game not too far behind <laughs> michael just sitting in shield right there knowing if you attack my shield which i know you are based off of how aggressive you're playing right now i'm just going to neutral air out of it it's interesting that now that you think about it why why aren't we seeing floppy sit back throw more fire right. arrows <laughs> using, utilizing boomerang boomerang not so much because i feel like michael is able to really beat up boomerang with the eggs but still fire arrows are such a great tool against yoshi he should yeah. He should be almost spamming that move. Yeah, and I mean, you, I mean, right there, you can see he tried to go for the boomerang into the um, forward air, but it's such a great conversion tool. Where you can convert off of arrows from like mid stage, from a, a, a mid distance. Like, hey, I mean, you convert arrow into arrow. Yeah, but wow. back air from Michael is going to clean up that stock. And now we have to see both our players yeah. at one stock apiece. Very quick revenge stock for Michael, not trying to let this get away from him. He Wants to clean this up with the 2-0, but Floppy's certainly playing in a way where he's going to bring this to a game three. You can start to see the adaptation come through a little bit more. You know, we saw that he wasn't really like utilizing his projectiles as much. He wasn't zoning as much, and now he is. Even getting these frame traps, catching the down smash right there on the landing. Michael again, just being defensive. He knows that yes, he is down in percent, but that's Whoa! Oh no, Yoshi, I forgot, man. He's actually pretty heavy. Those yeah. boots. The boots, you know, that tail. And forward air looking a little bit stale at this point as well. Yeah, Michael, of course, you know, being more defensive, he's going to stay in shield even though he is down in percent. He's still forcing Floppy to approach. That's just the game plan he has. Oh, he cannot take one more of those down airs. If he does, he's going to be... Oh, oh wow. that was a bait. Neutral that was setup. such a bait. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was smart from cats uh, or excuse me, smart from Floppy to Floppy. land with the down air, baiting up the neutral getup, and then punishing with the quickest down smash. Really fast option right there. Hits on both sides, so it, it, it covered the getup and, and the, the roll. roll. Yeah, and the roll. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, Michael definitely looking like he's refocused. He's ready for this game three. But Floppy looking just as focused. Look at look at the focus in that man's eyes. For sure, dude. Hyper focus for both players right here. We're down to a game number three. Floppy versus Maiko. No character switches from either player. We're going to Polon Stadium 2. And let's see, are we gonna see an adaptation or any type of adjustment coming out from Maiko? We saw the defensive play being utilized very well in game one. But Floppy was just able to land the crucial hits that he needed in game two. Which extended his leading, really won him the game. Yeah, adaptation from both per players, certainly uh, a little bit more defensive gameplay coming out at the tail end, which netted Floppy the success. And Maiko definitely was starting to adapt, trying to fade back with like forward air, um, spacing out his aerials a little bit better. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, just, you know, a little too little too late. Okay, and there's an arrow conversion into an up air. Very smart stuff from Floppy. And now, I think we're starting to see more projectiles coming out from yeah, Floppy. for sure. Okay, yeah, using uh, a, co a good combination of defensive gameplay using the, z the zoning tools he has uh, as soon as he gets the hit. Um, also, keeping up the, ch the follow ups with the uh, very strong air and quick aerials. Mm -hmm. We're oh, a couple yo. back airs in front of Floppy. Very unfortunate for Michael because he was trying to get the back air out of punish, out of shield punish. Ooh, using yeah. the reverse command grab. That's a very unhealthy shield for Michael. Yeah, uh oh. Alright, back here here from Maiko. He's gonna catch an egg. 
Yo, oh my god, that would have been sick from Floppy. He's moving. Yo, he's pushing all the buttons. He's swinging that sword, trying to get rid of this first stock. 156 on Maiko. He's looking really close to death. Oh, really unfortunate up B right there. Easy punish for Maiko. And he gets the edge guard with the back air, cleaning that right up. Yeah, Floppy did burn his second jump after getting hit by the egg, which really is the sign for Maiko to go in oh, and no. get the punish. And this is the scary situation for him because, I mean, he he was feeling himself in that first stock. All right, finally gets it with the up air. All right. That was crucial for him because uh, you can see that uh, Floppy tends to get a little bit anxious when he when he loses that first stock because he plays like a little bit more aggressive. But yeah. In that case, that, the aggression worked out for him. Mm -hmm. Michael did get caught with that up air. Okay, there's the Japanese oh. set into a down smash. Yeah, really great option there. He could have opted for a forward smash, but I think the down smash is a little bit better because it so sends that, that uh, low angle knockback. Yeah, you've already seen Michael run off with the forward air exactly. a couple times. You know he's looking yeah. for that step again. Okay, and they are out of shield. And now Michael setting up oh, the ledge, no. very unfortunate for Floppy. No, it's <laughs> not how you want to see this end. And Michael doing the little crawl towards the ledge. It's like a taunt. It's like one of those pseudo taunts, right? Like, oh. You know, you know, <laughs> oh, you're not oh, pressing oh. the taunt button, but, but you know, you're telling your opponent like, hey, hey. <laughs> the internal ride. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yo, he, used, he hit the second yeah. button that time. He actually just broke the armor on yeah, the jump. Yeah. A lot of pressure on his shield right there. Okay, double up air. 62%. This is really great mileage uh, that Michael's already gotten on this second stock. Or, excuse me, the final stock. Mm -hmm, an up air and through the platform. And now we see a jab into down B. The Yoshi bomb, not enough. To, which is actually kind of surprising. Okay, there's an arrow, but we're not going to see any sort of follow up or chase. Oh, very unfortunate down air right in front of Michael. And we see our first grab in the back air to punish. Yeah. And it looked like Floppy knew that Michael was going to go out for the forward air, and he yeah. kind of wanted to jump above it uh -huh. and get a spike of his own, but it, it worked out against him because Michael just waited for it. Yeah, that's right. As you can see, we got some Yoshi hype, courtesy of Sid. Yoshi hype. 2GG.